Last day in Montana from the Custer Gallatin Forest. Sun is just rising. Car's packed. Lex is gonna get one little mini swim in and then we are gonna hit the road. I'm washing dishes in the creek this morning. It is absolutely frigid, but it's serving two purposes because now Lexi can play and I can get her dishes clean. Good morning. Gosh, gosh, this one is exceptionally beautiful. Driving down through the Gallatin National Forest, past Big Sky on my way to West Yellowstone. It's just one of those days where I just feel so especially overwhelmingly in awe of God's creation and so grateful that I get to see it. Up close. Oh my gosh, and there's an eagle. What the heck? Where is a bald eagle? So I'm sitting here in the middle of West Yellowstone, just stopped to get an iced chai latte. A beautiful day to, I can't say start the day because let's be honest, this isn't the first drink I've had today, but it's gonna be a long adventurous driving day. So this is number two. And I stopped at this cute little espresso ice cream snack bar in West Yellowstone to grab it. But oh my gosh, West Yellowstone is a nightmare. I'm so glad I'm not trying to get into the park here. The traffic is ridiculous. I don't do traffic on vacation. Not interested. So we are headed west into Idaho, away from the people. And instead of going through Yellowstone today, we're gonna go down the backside of the Tetons through the eastern edge of Idaho. And I'm super psyched because it's a new road for me and you know how I love that. So let's go. Okay guys, these are people lined up to get into the park. Oh, yuck. And there is a much, much, much longer line coming from the other side direction. No, thank you. Okay, we found Mesa Falls. This is Upper Mesa Falls. It's amazing. I had no idea it was gonna be like this. Lex is a little disappointed. There's no water for her. But it is absolutely spectacular. Mesa Falls is 114 feet above the Snake River here. It is just such a magical waterfall. I had no idea this existed at all. And there is an upper falls, which is what we're looking at here. And then there's also a lower falls, which is equally as majestic and just another mile or so down the road. It just was one of those powerful waterfalls that took your breath away. And I think because I didn't expect it and I had no idea it was there until about an hour before we would be driving through, it was just such a happy accident that we were passing through. And I love this view of the Snake River from high up. It's just always been such a beautiful place to me. A little bit later on, our scenery changed drastically as we made our way a little bit further west along the Idaho border. I was really amazed by just the massive farms that I encountered. The geography changed so quickly and we started to see the backs of the Tetons far in the distance. And as we drove further west, they came closer and closer. And it was just so cool to see what they look like from the backside because all of my experiences with the Tetons have been on the Wyoming side. And they're just a little bit more rugged and a little different on this end. I really love how you have all of the farmland in the front and it stands in just drastic contrast. We had to stop and find a spot to swim. It's been a long day in the car. It's a pretty good spot. We're on the Hobart River, south of Jackson, Wyoming. A little further down towards the small town of Pinedale is maybe one of my favorite mountain ranges. I just love the Absarokas. They are just so dramatic. I know they're just all gray, but they just 
I don't know, they just speak to me. Aren't they the coolest? You little suckers, you ran right in front of me. Look at you all up there. What exactly is this? Well, Lex and I have made it to, to Rock Springs, Wyoming, which is honestly not one of my favorite places, but they have a really great, inexpensive hotel here that we're going to enjoy the heck out of this weekend. So, hope you enjoy day 24. It's been a lot of adventure today and a whole lot of driving. We did great things in Montana, Idaho, and half of Wyoming today. We'll see you on the road. Please like and subscribe and follow us for day 25.